Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to another map change video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys some of the map changes which I missed in yesterday's video. Now this one is pretty interesting because a lot of the map changes have kind of been little subtle ones but some sort of stuff that most people probably didn't notice. So I find some of these pretty interesting and they also could link to the next big location in the Fortnite Battle Royale map. But before we get too far into this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you are new around here, maybe consider using my support greater code like everybody on screen right now. Thank you everyone who's been doing that. Go and use code postbox pat in the item shop, show some support and love for the channel, and thank you very much for everyone who has been doing that. Anyway, let's jump into this and show you guys the first map change, which is probably one of the most funniest ones I've seen in a while, and this is going to relate with the Week 8 challenges. So, if you're here for the Week 8 challenges, as well that will help you out because this new telephone location the pizza pit telephone will allow you to kind of call up pizza pit and give you one of the challenges for the week eight so simply you dial that number on the phone and you will be able to unlock one of the challenges i believe that's the second one and you actually need to find the derberg one first so that is the pizza pit one it's actually just located a little bit down the road from the block in between the block and obviously paradise so if you come here you'll be able to find that one it's just on the edge of the map and then i believe the derberg one is actually located outside of fatal fields it's kind of in a spot which i didn't expect i've already found it it's actually got a snow texture on and it was interesting to see this because i didn't expect it to be i was looking for it for quite a while actually i was looking more towards paradise side but it actually is just up on this mountain on the outskirts of fatal fields so you'll see it up on this snow mountain there isn't actually anything usually up here but now we have this derberger telephone which i'm really excited about so you know this derberger telephone is really cool i think it's interesting to to see that they've got like the number thing on it as well like you don't usually see that on this sort of stuff so i'm glad that fortnite have decided to kind of interact a little bit it's kind of like a takeaway you know you can come here and kind of think i can call up derberger and get a derberger and imagine if the derberger skin actually came all the way from retail row over there and actually came over here to bring you guys a derberger which you could potentially consume i think something like that would be really cool and really interesting Okay, so the next map change I've got for you guys is a pretty interesting and one that many of you will probably not expect at all. And it's actually back at Retail Row. And you're probably thinking, Pat, what on earth are you chatting about when I go over some of these? Because it doesn't really make sense. But when I jump into Creative, you will get a little preview of potentially what is going to be coming to the Fortnite Battle Royale map in the future. So this house right in front of me now is the house which is probably the most interesting one relating to this kind of storyline type thing. Now, what am I trying to get at with this? Well, if you actually come around the back of the house, you'll notice there's a little sign down here and it says, beware of the dog. Now, again, that just doesn't mean anything when you read it and you think, what are you chatting, Pat? You're looking at a sign and just making something up. Well, if we actually go down into the basement of this house, they have that sign repeated again. Now to get down into the basement, you simply need to go inside the garage, go inside of here and drop through the car, break the car and obviously you'll drop into the basement down here. Go through the door and then once you're inside this room here, you'll notice over by this side where the dog kind of houses are, we actually have the actual sign again saying beware of the dog. Now what is this indicating? I personally think it is hinting at something in the future. Now if we jump over to the creative side of stuff all right guys so i've popped in creative and this is what i want to show you guys so on the brand new prefabs the military prefabs we have this dog logo there are also other logos on the other ones which we'll quickly go over in a second but this dog logo could indicate or could relate to the beware of the dog sign found inside of retail row itself so the military bases themselves are prefabs in the creative menu and something interesting about these there are a total of five prefabs but you look at all the other prefabs and they're already in fortnite battle royale other than the actual kind of like parkour ones they're not in fortnite battle royale but all the others are in the fortnite universe which makes me think in the next few weeks or so we're going to see these military bases appear maybe this is what's underneath the actual kind of loot lake i don't really like to call it loot lake anymore because it's rip loot lake really it still is loot lake i guess it's still the lake but the kevin himself is rip but yes the brand new loot lake 
I guess this is potentially what we could see underneath or even appear around it as the storyline continues. So these logos continue throughout all the different ones. We have obviously the Viking logo on this one again could link to the Vikings in Snobby. I don't think that would be likely. But yes, we have that there. We also have the logo on this one, which is kind of like the Black Knight type logo. If it's going to be one of the logos and they do decide to put this in the Battery of Universe, it'll probably be the dog logo because it relates obviously to the Salty Springs sign, Beware of the Dog. But anyway, that's just one of my quick theories that I wanted to bring to attention because I thought it was pretty interesting and I thought it was worth mentioning. It possibly won't happen but it does make sense and i do think you know why would they put a prefab in creative if they aren't going to introduce it into battle royale every other prefab in here is already in battle royale or at least some elements of it are this is the only prefab really in creative other than the parkour ones that aren't in battle royale just yet there's a bunch of prefabs in creative that aren't actually sorry there's a bunch of buildings in battle royale that aren't already prefabs in creative for example Durberger and stuff it has been leaked in the files that Durberger potentially could and all the food restaurants could appear as prefabs but i don't want them to because obviously that could mean the storyline is going to come to a halt but yes potentially all of these prefabs in here are always going to be in battle royale so that's what makes me think maybe the military bases have to appear somewhere in the battle royale universe because not every battle royale prefab is in here but obviously that's creative side of stuff it's not really that important there's a lot of stuff currently like the government prefabs and stuff they don't exist obviously the government come and go from battle royale but yeah i'm going to jump back over to the actual replay mode and show you guys a few more map changes all righty so we pop back inside of the replay mode and i just want to go over a few different theories that have quickly come to my mind while making this video regarding the brand new location at loot lake so like i was saying potentially this could be military related underneath here but we're not 100 percent sure i don't see why it would be military related because i just don't feel that could be the case the interesting thing about it though we have all of these different kind of shield components now potentially these shield components could be a little bit like we have with the military already take a little look at the screenshot of the dog shield which we just saw before that you can see on screen right now you know i don't know if this could be related to it it's probably not because it's not the same shape but that's the idea we could be seeing with this some sort of logo slash shard type thing to actually power this section. You know, I don't know if that's going to be the case, but we have five different kind of things that potentially we have to insert in this section to power something, maybe. And also, there are a few footage leaks already of underneath this area. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that on screen right now. So you can see a few people flying around underneath. I think this is pretty cool. Credit down below to this one. It's actually a really awesome clip. But... You know, this sort of stuff does happen from now and from time to time, really. It happens to me all the time. I get glitched under the map. So nothing really there that I can talk about other than it looks like some sort of kind of base underneath. But there are a few sound files going around as well, which I'll quickly display a few of them just quickly. So thanks for Hypex for these, they're actually awesome sound files. I didn't want to go over them all, you can just hear it's just a load of banging and stuff. You can't really gather much from the sound files other than you know that it's probably going to open and you know that these doors are going to do something or maybe teleport you somewhere. The sound files don't really give us much clue at all. We can kind of listen to them and analyze them and predict potentially what it could be. But I like to do it without the sound and kind of think creatively rather than listening to sound. But yeah, there was a few bangs and stuff. Nothing really major from the sound files. We just know that something's going to happen from the sound files. Nothing too major. There's a massive map change which I missed in my video, my previous one. I didn't expect this to happen, but I did. And, you know, I'm a little bit annoyed about it. But it doesn't matter. I found it. You guys commented it. And I, as soon as the video was uploaded, I found it and I was like, why did I miss that? But yes, the stone people. So the stone people have moved once again to another location. I'm really happy for them because by the looks of it, the female stone woman got up from the lava. She didn't care. She got straight out of that lava. And the love story continues with these two trying to get closer and closer towards each other. Are they going to tell us something? I don't know 100%, but for those who have followed the stone people from the start, if you do remember rightly, the actual stone man himself would warn us about Polder Peak. He would warn us about different things. And are they going to warn us about something, these two stone people? They survived the volcano. 
So are they going to get together and indicate maybe or point towards a location that something is going to happen at? I'm excited to see what these have in store for us. So hopefully in the next update, they will be together and then hopefully they will do some sort of movement during in-game events or maybe some sort of kind of just before an event, a few hours or so. I think that'd be pretty cool. The way we can tell if that's going to be the case or not is by the rendering of these items. From what we know, the way the Fortnite render system works, if these weren't able to be seen in replay mode when you're not rendering in this area, that means that if they're invisible and they're not there, they're going to move around. They're going to have some sort of interaction regarding that week or until the next update. But if they're permanently loaded in right now, it means Fortnite have physically done that and they're probably near enough 99% not going to change now until another update. So we can expect these to change even next week if an update pops or the week after. I'm not too sure when Epic are going to plan on releasing the update because they kind of released this one a bit early, which I'm happy about. So hopefully they'll continue to do that. But yes, that's the stone people. And the final map change I've got for you guys is the block. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to analyze the block. I do it every single week. It's something that people just enjoy me doing. From someone who's had experience building in the past with previous games like Minecraft and also built a block myself, which didn't actually get submitted, but I have an eye for building. I I'd, I'd like to say that with as much confidence as I can, I'm not the best builder, but I definitely have an eye for building from previous stuff I've done in the past regarding Minecraft and stuff. If you guys haven't checked out my Minecraft survival series, it's an old series called Subscriber Kingdom, but if you watch some of the later episodes, it's all in survival and the builds are very detailed with a lot of depth put into them and I could easily build something amazing for the block. It's just getting the time. But yes, this is something by the Gonza the Wizard. I covered it in my previous video, but I didn't give it enough depth. But in today's video, I want to look over it and show you guys exactly what we have right here with all this sort of stuff. So this block has to be one of the coolest designs I have seen. It's a castle slash fort and it really does give the castle vibe. I feel like this block has to be one of the coolest. I'm not too sure what's going on with the throne chair facing the huge door. I like the way they've just used a standard chair as the throne chair and not gone for the Ice King throne. Come on guys, just don't use the Ice King throne. It just doesn't fit. But yes, I love this design and what they've done with it. I think it's amazing. It has to be one of my favorite blocks. Like generally, it gives me the Game of Thrones vibe. It gives me the Lord of the Rings vibe. It gives me a lot of vibes, this castle. And just running around this castle, I haven't personally landed here yet, but when I do land here, I'm gonna be very excited to see how it plays out, especially if the bus is coming over this castle. Hopefully I'll get some time to be able to actually land at this castle. I don't wanna miss out on this one because this definitely looks enjoyable. It's the sort of place when I was a lot younger that I would love to be able to craft or even visit. And it's very enjoyable to kind of just tour it right now. So congratulations on this, my friend. This has to be one of the best blocks I've seen in a very long time. I love the design for the uh, statue in the middle as well. I think that's very unique. I'm pretty sure that's just a piece from Creative, but the way he's actually built around it and everything around it, with all the frandas and all the greenery, it's just a very nice block. Now, I assume that they do have a master chest. There it is in the main throne, again, in the throne room. So yeah, they do have a master chest. It's such a nice block. The detail put into it is a lot. Like they've really thought about the block and I think that's something that's unique. When people put a lot of detail into a block like this, they deserve to be featured. And that's why I was a little bit disappointed when my block didn't get featured. Obviously my block needs updating now because it's previously built in pre, like, creative shall I say before creative was even made public to everyone who didn't own the battle pass so it was an early block and there's a lot of glitches with it now but it needs a little bit of cleaning up but you know this block is absolutely oh this block <laughs> I love it so well done Gonzo the wizard this one has to be my favorite one this season I think it's a very nice design it's not symmetrical like the ones you see out there the castle gives a completely different vibe I guess it is symmetrical in places but it's not like 100% symmetrical the way he's done with the trees and the design on the inside you get what I mean you can see how this tower is a different tower from this tower and just the different designs on the castle is what makes a castle if you're copying the designs on each tower it just doesn't get the right vibe or the right design and maybe he's seen some of my videos and he knows the way I talk. I don't know, maybe this guy, because I always, the blocks that are symmetrical, I always pick up on it and say, and it, it always gets ranked as one of my least favorite blocks. Just everything about it is not symmetrical. It can't, it's obviously symmetrical with the design, but everything, the way it's done and just the way the castle wall is, it's just such a nice castle to look at. And guys, this one's a 10 out of 10. This is one of the best blocks. If you guys are looking for getting inspiration to be able to build something, this is the way you want to do it. You want to have it so, your eyes are drawn to certain sections of the build. And when I look at this, my eyes are draw, drawn to the statue, the main kind of four entrance and the greenery. And I, it kind of, it's just a very nice picture. And 
to be honest, well done. I, I can't really describe it any better than that, other than the block is very detailed and it is very well thought out. It's probably been planned before he built it. The design and the structure of it is just lovely. The builds, I haven't really commented much on the interior, but the builds on the interior has a lot of depth and it really does go into the concept. He includes a bunch of stuff, like in the stables, for example, he even has just standard hay. I know that's pretty basic, but everything about it has its detail put into it. It has the sort of vibes a farm would have maybe, in, or the stables would have inside of a castle. There obviously could be a bit more barrels around in the courtyard, but he still has that in certain sections. I feel like there's a lot of open space in certain sections, which potentially could have been filled up with kind of like a working environment. But there are still elements of that. It's just like a clean castle. It's like, you know, when you go, when you watch Shrek and he goes into that castle and it's completely empty and abandoned and they're all like having a fight. I think that's in the first Shrek. Uh, it's like that. It reminds me of that. It's just really cool. So I'm glad you've done a really good job with this block. Has to be my favorite block this season. Congratulations, Konzo the Wizard. I will probably try and get in touch with you, but probably fail like I have with all the previous block builders that I like. I always try and get in touch with some good builders to say how much I appreciate their block. But maybe a Gonzo. You know, if he watches the video, send it to him, guys, if he's out there. But yeah, congratulations on that one. I really do like it. I think it's a really awesome block. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to come and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comment section down below how you are finding the new update. Are you upset about the rip of the cube? Let me know if you guys want to see the cube return. Potentially, we will see the element return in some form or shape or whatever i don't think they just write it off like there is no remains of the cube on the fortnite map currently at this moment in time not one thing is on the map that is purple or even relates to the cube in the sense of actually being a physical part of it there are elements that relate to it obviously we have the kind of islands that fell down that are still available that can still be seen in certain locations around the map and obviously we have a few other sections as well which still can be seen you know the islands around here you can still see them kind of a little bit floaty i guess people always use this to get a nice little boost with a quad so yeah that's pretty cool but yes the cube has officially been eliminated from the fauna universe so if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around for daily fortnite map change content and storyline theories i hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to go and leave a like comment, subscribe like i just said it really does help out and it really does show respect and love for the channel so thank you everyone who's been doing that and once again this is postbox pat signing out